Good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today. Let's take chapter 4, verses 17 through 19 for our reading. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Now, we're kind of in the middle of something, and we can only do a couple of verses each day, so I recognize that that's kind of a problem, but let's just look at this. Jesus, we so noticed yesterday morning, he's in the synagogue, he reads from the book of Isaiah, they just bring it up and hand it to him, it's not like, he said, hey, bring me the book of Isaiah. That's the one that was there that day. God, God's providence is working. Jesus, this is how Jesus is going to open his ministry now. So they bring him the book, he reads, he, he opens the, uh, and he reads from it. And this is what he has. And it's really the spirit of Jesus. It's the spirit of God. It's the spirit of ministry we all should have. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Jesus is not just about, you know, preaching to the poor people, but poor in so many ways. We are poor, spiritually poor. We're, we're, we're blank. We have zero in our bank account spiritually. But God is willing to give us his righteousness. He's willing to give us his good gifts we can't bring any righteousness to him. All we have is filthy guiltiness from our, our chosen acts of sin and rebellion. God says, I'll take that all away. Uh, I know you're poor. Let me give you, let me just give you what you need. He sent Jesus to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. The gospel's about liberty. You know, when you're just on your own and it's just you, guess what? You are in bondage. You're in absolute bondage to the habits you've formed, to the, the habits the devils have helped you to form. And the things you thought you were free, but you weren't free at all. But Jesus gives us true freedom. And so Jesus, his mission, the mission of the gospel, the mission of the four gospels and all the Bible is to proclaim liberty to the captives, not just to get people out of prison. The church is about, God's purpose is about giving people freedom from sin, freedom, self-control. God gives us help so that we can find out what God's purpose is and do it. And so... Recovery of sight to the blind. Hey, you know what? A lot of people are very blind today. We could outline all these pieces. We don't have time for that. But there's a lot of blindness in our world, even from people who think they see perfectly well. The Bible will help us to see perfectly well, however. So God has hope for the poor. God has hope for the, for the blind. God has hope for the captives. And God will set you free uh, if you just lean on him. If you just let him help, he has help for you. He is... So good. We're going to leave it there and let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this mighty uh, testimony, not even just a New Testament, but back from the prophet Isaiah. This is what the way you worked it out for Jesus to begin his ministry. Now, Lord, may we be right with you. Lord, help us. May the truths that Isaiah uttered by your Holy Spirit, that Jesus uttered by your Holy Spirit, may those become true in our life. May we be your agents to deliver the captives and give sight to the blind. Oh, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, there's a lot of hope here. And outside the walls, wherever you are, there's a lot of despair and loneliness and emptiness. This is the hope. May you take it to them. May they be blessed because you're blessed. And may you be blessed this day through the Lord Jesus Christ. God be with you.